Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover how to replace a cellular radio on your Vista alarm system. Before we start, there are several things you'll need. A Phillips head screwdriver, pliers, the alarm box key. You will also want to call your monitoring company and have them put your alarm system in test mode. Now, locate your main alarm box and radio. The radio might be mounted on top of the alarm box as seen here. If the radio is not mounted on the alarm box, it may be mounted in a remote location within the residence, often in a closet or garage area, usually on the main floor or higher. If the radio is mounted separately, you will not need to open the main alarm box and the new radio can simply be mounted in place of the old one. Once you locate and open the radio's cover, you may want to take a picture to reference the wiring. If you cannot locate your radio, please contact your security professional for assistance. If your radio is mounted on top of the main alarm box, open the alarm box. If your radio has an antenna connection on top, you can remove this piece and set it to the side as we will not need it. Loosen the locking screw on the front of the radio and open the cover. Remove the plug from the communicator and pull it back into the main alarm box. When removing the plug, your alarm system may go into trouble and start beeping. You can silence these trouble sounds by entering your user code and the number one key on your alarm system keypad. If you have a second plug here, you can remove it and set it to the side as we will not need it. To remove the old radio, twist it counterclockwise and unscrew the locking nut underneath. We can now prepare the new radio for installation. If your radio was mounted remotely, you can set aside the hardware package. If your radio was mounted on top of the main alarm box, you will need the threaded mount and locking nut located in the hardware package. Loosen the locking screw on the new radio and open the cover. If your radio was mounted on top of the main alarm box, the next step is to remove the knockout at the bottom of the radio. You will need pliers for this step. Grip the knockout with the pliers and pull down or away from the radio. Once this knockout is removed, you can insert the threaded mount. Make sure that the threaded mount clips into place securely before proceeding. Mount the new radio where the old one was on top of the main alarm box. Once the locking nut is hand tightened, twist the radio clockwise to tighten it fully. If the radio is not mounted on the main alarm box as seen here, please route the wire in the same manner it was on the old radio. Loosen the locking screw on the front of the radio and open the cover. You can now reconnect the wire that we pulled into the main alarm box earlier. Please make sure that the plug is in the proper orientation. The green wire should be on the left hand side. Your radio will now start to power up and the LEDs will cycle. Please be patient as it can take up to 15 minutes for the radio to fully initialize. Once fully initialized, your top LED should be solid green, the LED below that should be flashing yellow, and the bottom LED should be solid green. Please refer to the guide provided by your security professional for details on how to contact them in order for them to complete the upgrade process. 
You can now have your security professional complete the radio replacement. They will need the MAC ID and CRC from both your old and new radios. The MAC ID and CRC can be located on this sticker on the radio. Once your security professional has confirmed the radio replacement, you can close the cover on your radio and main alarm box. You can also clear any troubles on your alarm system keypad by entering your user code and the number one key two times. The final step is to test alarm signals with your monitoring company. If they confirm signals, your radio has been successfully replaced. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.